everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to do a different kind of video. I've seen some other artists on YouTube do videos in the past like a week in my reborn studio and I thought it'd be really fun to kind of do something like that because I always get questions to post about my painting and I will not do tutorials so please don't ask me to make tutorials because I just don't feel like that's my place and I also just don't, yeah, you know, like I just don't think I am the right person to make a tutorial but um, I'm just going to be doing like a week in my reborn studio and just kind of filming if I remember every day to show you guys like what I'm working on in my studio. So currently, as you guys know, I am going to be selling at the 2020 Rose Doll Show this June 24th to the 27th. Um, all the information is on their website at rosedollexpo.com. So please don't ask me in the comments because I am not their information person. You can go to their website for all facts. Like I am say everything I say is from memory. So if you want cold hard facts that are actually like about the show that are for sure like 100% true, go to their website. Don't ask me because I am not the all-knowing well of information about Rose. Um, yeah, go to their website. I just want to say that because I always get questions every time I bring it up. But anyway, I am selling. My booth is number 175. So if you guys are going, make sure to stop by and say hi to me and maybe get a baby if you would like. So yeah, currently I have six babies for my booth already done. And yeah, so. I'm just working on more. I was hoping to bring around 20, but we'll see what I can get done. I have like four more months to get everything together, so hopefully I can get a bunch of babies done in that time. I'll show you guys what I have done already. Also, sorry about the noise. That is my heater. It's freezing in this room right now. It's 63 and I want it to be warmer, so I'm heating up the room. The babies I have for the show, I am keeping over here right now. They're in this little section. I think I'm eventually gonna have to kick Laura out and probably I'll just put her in the big crib, but and then I'll just use this whole space to put my rose babies, but for now I have six that are done. Um, this is the most recent one, and this is the most recent one that I've been working on. So this is Odessa by Laura Lee Eagles. Super cute. I just finished this baby a couple days ago, and so I tried a new hair technique on him, and I think it turned out really cute. He has a belly plate and then a cloth body, so he's really cute. We have um, Sold Out Limited Edition Indie by Laura Lee Eagles. Sorry, I think I was... Um, She's a full body vinyl baby, not silicone, so we have that baby, and she also has a new hair technique that I tried. Sorry, I'm like, I know people don't like when I hold them by their necks, but like, um, it doesn't hurt the doll. So she has that. We have, this one's really cute. This is um, Realborn Alma Asleep uh, from Bountiful Baby. Super cute. I really like how the skin tone of this baby turned out. I have a um, Uriel by Priscilla Lopez. Super cute. This one has like a newborn skin tone as well as this baby. I love how this baby turned out. And then we have Rosalie by Olga Ayor down here. Another super cute little baby. Look at those duck lips. This was actually the first baby I finished for Rose. And then the last one I have is Rosalie by Joanna Casimir Exact. Not Rosalie. <laughs> Lulu by Joanna Casimir Exact. And she also has a belly plate. Super cute little face. So, so far I have these six babies done. We're gonna place them all back up. This is just where they're hanging out for now. And I have a stash of kits that I and making for Rose, so let's go see what I'm gonna start today. I was working on this baby, which is Angel by Angela Degner, but I just didn't really like how it was turning out, so I put it away. Sometimes if you take a break from a doll, and also the lighting's showing up weird in here, but if you take a break, sometimes if you come back to it, you'll like how it turns out. So I'm putting this one off to the side for now. My stash was much bigger, but I've obviously been finishing babies, so my stash isn't huge right now. And also I have, um, the Maddie by Bonnie Brown I've been working on. I finished painting this baby in like November or December, but I've been rooting it and I just hate rooting, so I haven't worked on the rooting in a long time. But super cute baby and as long as I finish the rooting, this baby will come with me. It just has a little bit to go. It's crazy that you can like see all the rooting inside. Look at this. Isn't that weird? So yeah, there's just like a little patch. She's like a baby with a bald spot right now. She's like a middle-aged baby. <laughs> anyway. I have her body right there all ready for the head. It just has no hair and I regret deciding to do rooted hair when I easily could have done painted hair and made her look cute too. But anyway, I thought that would be fun. That's probably the only rooted baby I'll be bringing because I don't root. I just thought it would be nice to do on Maddie but obviously I'm really regretting that. So in my kit stash, let's see what I have. Oh, right here, this is um, 
Woodland Elf Flynn by Laura Lee Eagles. This one is super cute, little smiley baby. He does have pointy ears, but you could just make him a regular baby, which is what I plan on doing. I don't really plan on making him a fantasy baby because, um, I don't know, I don't do fantasy work. I just like the little face, and some babies have pointy ears, so that's just what I'm gonna go with for this baby. We have a secret surprise kit in there that I'm not gonna show you guys. This is what I think I'm gonna start today. This is Alexis by Cassie Brace. Super cute baby. This one's the biggest one I have for the stash right now besides that other secret baby. So I think I'm gonna start this one today. Usually I work on multiple, so this is probably one I will start today. And then in here I have um, Phoenix by Andrea Arcello. Super cute baby. Um, I would start this one today too, but I, I don't know. I really have to neutralize this vinyl and I don't really feel like doing that right now. I, I have to neutralize all the vinyls, but like this one is like more orangey and I hate orange vinyl. So I try to avoid those kits now, but I really wanted to make a Phoenix. So I think we're gonna start Alexis today. And then I'm also gonna order some new kits soon because obviously my stash isn't huge. Like I said, I want like around 20 babies and this is probably a total of 10 that I have right here, including like the six that are done. And I'm also gonna bring some dolls from my personal collection that I made to sell, um, which would be um, Olive, my Loveland by Sheila Mrofka, and I think I'm gonna be selling Augie, my Stanley Oliver by Chenza. Um, I'm gonna be selling them at the show too, just because um, I don't totally reach for them in my collection, and instead of like selling them before, I can just sell them at the show, because I have made them, so I'm gonna do that. But we're gonna take Alexis, and we are gonna start this baby today. I think that's what I'm gonna do. To be completely honest with you guys, I am a little spooked right now. Also, I don't know why my face is like red. I woke up and it was like red and there was like a scratch, but the scratch is gone. I don't even know how that happens, but anyway, ignore that. Um, on Sunday, today is Tuesday when I'm filming this because I didn't paint at all yesterday, which is why I didn't start it on Monday. But on Sunday I was painting and a huge spider <laughs> crawled out right next to my painting table. Like I sit here and then down there is where I keep um, my tissue paper that I use to like wrap up the clothes when I send home dolls. Obviously I haven't been sending home dolls because I'm saving them all, but a spider crawled out from like right over there and he like walked over here and it was so big. It was probably like this big, including its legs and stuff, but it was like thick and brown and my dad squashed it. Um, I'm sorry if you guys don't condone killing spiders, but I really don't like them, so <laughs> that happened. Um, but yeah, I'm just a little scared. I honestly, I haven't painted since Sunday because of the incident. So yeah, I'm a little spooked right now. I just wanted to put that out there. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna be starting Alexis. So like I mentioned, this is not a tutorial. So if you came here to see a tutorial on how to paint a reborn, that's not what you're gonna get. I'm just showing you like behind the scenes of like me painting, I guess, which I don't normally show. So right now, this is the untouched vinyl. I just want to show you the color. It's like yellowy and I'm about to neutralize it with this purple color. And so I will show you after so you can see the difference that neutralizing makes to a kit. Just real quick, this isn't baked, but I work from legs to arms to head, and I just wanted to show you like the difference already between the kit in the that leg in the back with the purple wash on it, and this one has nothing on it. You can see the difference already. It's like much more pinky toned, which is what we want because babies have like pinky toned skin. So that's kind of what neutralizing does, but it'll be different when you paint it or when you bake it, just like a little bit. So but I just want to show you like you can see a difference, and it actually does stuff. <laughs> One thing that really annoys me with these big kits is like, I can get all the limbs in there, but there's no room for the head, so I'm gonna have to bake it separately, which is just a little bit annoying, and it just takes a little more time, but that's the way you have to do things if you have a big kit, which is also why I usually work on multiple at a time, so while these ones are baking, I can um, paint another one. So yeah, I might have to start one of my other kits, but I don't know. I ended up deciding to neutralize Phoenix's kit and it actually turned out a lot better than I was expecting because I usually have a lot of difficulty neutralizing orange kits, but the color that I use, which is this one, uh, turned out really well. And also, for people asking about my colors, um, I mix all my paints myself, so yeah. <laughs> anyway, he's about to go in the oven and I hope his whole kit fits, so I won't have to bake it in two parts again. He's a little smaller than Alexis, so I hope it fits. Yeah, and Alexis's head is done and she fell over, okay. I tried, there was no way I was getting that whole kid in there. I could barely get the other arm in there, so I'm just gonna bake these three pieces and then do the arm and the head separately. I hate having to bake in two pieces because there's like no space for me to uh, do other kits, but this needs to cool off anyway. The limbs 
are still warm so I can't really paint those yet and obviously the head just came out. And also this is a little umbilical cord stump that goes to Odeza that I didn't finish painting yet. It's really red and I don't really want it to be like that. I'm just kind of like building up colors. Um, so I have that. <laughs> okay, so day two, it is Wednesday and I am back painting. My heater is going again because it's freezing in here. It is 61. I just cleaned my car for like an hour because it was dirty. That's not painting related, but um, this right here is the Soul Out Limited Edition Greta by Andrea Arcello. And um, I, making this kit for a customer, we didn't like how it was turning out, so I stripped the kit last night. I didn't film that. It's pretty much stripped, so I'm gonna call that like good enough to keep going. I might like go back in and touch up some little spots like in between those little parts of her mouth and like get some of it out, but I basically just used a toothbrush and acetone and I got it out. I had acetone in this because I don't want to ruin my nails, which is why I use a toothbrush because it doesn't, it would take my nail polish off if I got the acetone on it. So yeah. But anyway, we have those babies and they have some work done that I didn't show you. I'm not filming every single step because obviously like that's kind of redundant and you don't always see a difference between the steps. But I have those two over there that I'm working on and then this one that I haven't started yet. And I don't know if I'm gonna start it right now because honestly, um, this is like too many pieces to be working on because like this needs to be baked in like two or three bakes and then those both need to be baked in two separate bakes so it's just like too much but yeah so I'm gonna get started for the day. Okay day three I think of the painting week in my workshop or reborn studio whatever um it's basically a given that I will have my heater going it's always freezing in here when I come down so that's going and Today, I didn't have a ton of time to work on the dolls yesterday, so I didn't get a ton done, but they look like this. Alexis's head looks darker than her limbs, and I really don't understand why, because I do everything like together, like all the layers are the same, so I don't really know. And then we have Phoenix, super cute. So, I'm basically just gonna be working on building up their skin tones and stuff, and like details, and all kinds of stuff. I think I need to do their creasing, and I hate doing creasing, but, I think it's getting to be time for that soon, so yeah, not fun for me. <laughs> One thing that's cool about creases, as much as I hate doing it, you can tell like how much it brings to the kit, and obviously they won't look like this harsh when it's finished because they'll be covered up by other layers. Like this one, you can see like all the creases are painted pretty much, and like it's filled in. And then you look at the blank foot, like, well, that's not blank, but it doesn't have the creases and it doesn't look as lifelike. And the creases really add so much realism. I don't know, like if you don't do them, the kit, it just doesn't look like it's a, like a baby. It looks like a doll. Cause obviously on like baby dolls, they don't have filled in creases and stuff like this. So as much as I hate doing creases, they're really important. And they literally bring so much life to the kit. Like just looking at these two legs, like, the difference between those feet, it's crazy. This one has, here. Okay, the focus is really off, but just the difference is insane. Yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. Okay guys, today is Friday. Sorry I look kind of gross. Um, I did not do my hair or anything. Like, I'm not dressed really because my school was closed today. Like, all the schools in my area were closed today for cleaning for the coronavirus. Um, we're not sure if they're gonna close our schools for like two weeks, like a lot of schools are doing. I feel like our school system just isn't gonna do that. Like, they make us go to school all the time when the snow is really bad. So, I don't know. I feel like our like our superintendent does not like to let us miss school. But I don't know. So, all I know is we don't have school today, so I have a ton of time to paint. Yesterday, I only did creasing because I hate creasing so much. Like, it makes me so unmotivated to paint anymore. So. Both of the babies have just been hanging out since I did that. But now I have a ton of time to paint today. It's like not even 10 in the morning. Um, I woke up early because like I'm used to waking up early for school. I went and got <laughs> coffee during the pandemic. Um, my fuel for today so I can paint. And yeah, we're just gonna get started. I'm hoping I can finish um, the babies painting this weekend because that'd be really nice. And then I can like do their hair and stuff and like find final details but um yeah so they're actually pretty close I feel like 
I don't know, I do creasing kind I used to do creasing first in my painting process, but I switched to doing it later on because then you can see it more and I don't know, it makes it, them feel like closer to being done. I don't know, their coloring is actually really nice on both of the babies. So I just kinda need to do a little bit more on the skin tones and like final details and stuff and they should be pretty close. So that's my plan. Maybe I'll even get them done today, I don't know. I have so much time and like I have nothing to do and it's raining and it's gross out, so that's like a really great time to paint. I'm gonna sit down and watch some videos. Like I always sit and, I'll show you guys. So I bring my iPad down here like every day and I set it up right there. That's why there's a blank space right there. And I'm sorry, my heater's going, I'm freezing. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have my iPad here and you can see it's like 10 in the morning. There's Nugget. <laughs> Um, so I just set it up, I watch videos. I don't really like watch stuff, but I like to have noise in the background. Like sometimes I'll just sit and listen to music, but I just need to have noise going while I paint because otherwise I just get so bored. But yeah, I'll use that and like, I'll really mostly just listen to the videos and like occasionally look up because obviously I want to focus on what I'm doing. So we have Alexis right here, I'm going to turn my light on, and then I'm going to get started. And maybe I should do a little painting table tour. Um, yeah, let's do it. All right, I turned the heater off for this so you guys won't be annoyed, but I'll do a little painting table tour. So right here is this weird little um, glass box. I think it's supposed to be for plants, but I took it to put all my um, paint brushes in. I used to have this cup and it broke right in half. So I put them in this because it was like a plastic cup and this is glass so it's strong. I really have no clue how the other one broke but it was also really small. And I have a lot of brushes and I buy new brushes sometimes because it's like, I don't know, I think it's fun to have fresh brushes. I need to get some more brushes like this one. This one's like really dying. So <laughs> I, mean, I don't remember where I got half my brushes but I have some of my like really like my favorites, like this one's a really nice one, and like I use like these ones a lot. Um, AC Moore's going out of business, and that's like an East Coast thing. This one's really nice. Um, so all their stuff is on sale, so I think I need to go in there and just like snag a bunch of brushes that I think are really nice. But I have a ton of brushes. So that's my brushes. Then right here I have this little organizer from Target. So on this bottom shelf I keep all the raw paints like in their jars so all my I use Genesis heat set paints as most artists do and they're all in there I write the names on the caps a lot of the times it'll just wipe off from being used but like you can tell the color and I don't really I don't know need, I know what they are so I have my paints in there then in here I have sponges I really need to go through this because I don't use half of the sponges I only use like a couple like right along here um, like I'll use like my mottling sponges and stuff but then like I don't know, they're all like specifically color organized and then I have more over here. Like I'll grab new ones every once in a while if I mix a color that's completely different. Like if I mix a color and it's close to one of the sponges, I'll just use it. But if it's like completely different than anything I've ever used, I take a new one. These are from Walgreens. I don't really like them as much as the ones I usually get from Walmart. But I needed to get some new sponges quick and Walgreens is closer to me than Walmart so I just went there and they're just firmer, I don't know. The Walmart brand, it's like Equate, I don't know. I like them a lot. And also you get more of them for like a better deal. But these work, I just prefer the Walmart ones, just saying. Um, so those are my sponges. And then I have in here uh, paints that I mixed. I don't really use these ones that much. These are ones that are just kind of like on the inside. The ones on top are the ones I actually use. I really don't know why these ones are all in here. I feel like I should take them out and clean them all. Except it's so hard to clean these. I've tried to do it before. But yeah, these ones I don't really use. These ones are all the ones that I use. I don't even use all of them. They're just like all up here. Sorry, I have hiccups now. And um... Yeah, so it's just like a bunch of colors. And like I said, I mix all my paints myself, so like nothing is straight from the jar. I mix everything. And then over here I have, this is a Gamsol um, thinner, which is, oh, it's right there. I have it in the big thing. It didn't fit completely in my bottle, but that's like a type of thinner. And then this one is the Mona Lisa odorless thinner. And um, you just mix them into both the paints. That one's good for ethnic painting. I don't know why they're different, but um, yeah. So I have them and they're both in Rose Dalsha water bottles. You can't tell on this one anymore because it has rubbed away, but they're just in there. And I like using those because um, you can just squeeze it in, which is really convenient. And you just gotta remember, don't drink from those. They're not water. <laughs> I've almost done that a couple times. I've never actually drank in the thinners. I don't drink from water bottles like that. Like I drink from like my hydro flask and stuff, but anyway. And then I also have acetone back there. 
I don't really strip kits. Like, that's not something that I offer, but I do have it, just in case. And yeah, and then I have some magnets over there, um, my glazes, like gloss, um, my oven. This is the drying rack my dad built. He made that one and another one which is right there. I'm sorry it's so messy. This is my drying station, that's why Phoenix is over there. So like after they come out of the oven, I put them over here to cool off. So it's not drying, it's the cooling station. And then down here I have, this is my glass beads. It was 50 pounds and there's still quite a lot in there. Um, I have my tissue paper down there to wrap up stuff. That's some more waiting stuff like my zip ties, um, wonder wafers, and the little socks that go inside the glass beads. I accidentally ordered so many of these like a long time ago. I think I got like a hundred and I didn't mean to get that many. So I bought like a full box of them. So I have so many. So it's nice though. It'll last me literally forever. And I keep my um, stuffing in a different room. And then <laughs> my kits that are just everywhere. Yeah, that's my um, painting table tour. And then I have a trash down there for all of my trash needs. So yeah, I'm gonna get painting. Oh, and I also keep hair stuff down here. Um, these are some weird little markers that uh, was recommended to me to try for hair. I didn't like them, so I just have them down here. They weren't that expensive, so I don't know. I might resell them. Someone said they were interested in them, so I don't know. Then I have like, I have a couple brushes down there. Um, all my Prismacolor pencils, I have my really good scissors, I have rooting stuff down there, like all kinds of things. And that's just my bucket of hair, basically. <laughs> yeah, we are gonna get started. This is too long. <laughs> I decided to do a little rooting work on Maddie. Like I mentioned, I hate rooting and I regret rooting this baby because she would have looked just as cute with some painted hair and I'm not the best at rooting. So obviously it's not amazing rooting, like it's not mono rooted, but it's like decently micro rooted, I guess, kind of a little bit, not really. There's some bigger sections and then I go back in with my um with my tweezers and I like take those out, like some extra ones, but um yeah. I have a whole bald spot I need to do and I really hate it. Like I said, I this is probably the only rooted baby I'll be bringing to Rose. I would root more if I didn't hate it so much and if it didn't take so long. I also don't know why I decided to root Maddie because this is a huge head. This baby wears six months clothes. That's huge. If I had rooted like a newborn baby, the head is much smaller and I probably would have been done by now. But I was like, oh, she's an older baby. I'll give her hair. I regret that so much. <laughs> yeah. I did a little bit of work. I actually got a lot filled in right there. Um, I just wet it with my spray bottle and I like sprayed it and brushed it all out just to see and it actually looks a lot cuter when it's wet than when it was um, dry. Not really sure how I'm feeling about this hairstyle but that's just how I'm rooting it so far. But it's really cute. I just want this baby to be done and honestly I keep seeing this baby as a boy like when I'm making it so I might like cut the hairstyle to look like a boy but I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, there's still a lot left, but honestly I did get quite a bit done. I didn't work on it very long, because like I said, I get really bored of rooting. Because it's literally just like, poke, 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 and I hate it, it's so boring. But I actually got quite a bit done, so if I just keep doing that like every day, just like a little bit at a time, it won't take me long. Like I could probably do this in like a week if I did a little bit of a, a little bit a day. Maybe two weeks. <laughs> I really hate rooting, but yeah. It actually looks really cute, so I'm pretty impressed because I was thinking it's not looking so great, but then I wet it and I like actually brushed it out and it looks a lot cuter, so I'm happy. This side looks really good. I remember when I was doing it, I was like so proud of this. This side, well, this side has like a comb over happening, but um, yeah, really cute. Really cute. <laughs> I need to redo the eyelashes too because they're so sparse. I feel like they're like coming off because I've been like flipping the head everywhere so I feel like they're getting pulled but I'm gonna add more and make them like nice and cute. And her eyes are not like permanently in there, they're just like in there so I could see how she's coming together. Super cute. The painting isn't like uh, where my painting right now is because like I said I painted her in like no I finished the painting in like November or December so it's been a couple months because I just hate rooting but I mean she's still really cute and she still looks pretty realistic so I mean I'm happy about that. Today is Saturday? Did I film yesterday? I don't remember. Yeah I did. Um, 
they also announced that our schools are closed for two weeks, so I'm gonna have a ton of time to paint. Um, yeah, so got the heater going and I'm going to paint these babies. I'm gonna have so much time to get a bunch done. I'm definitely gonna need to order more kits so I can get a ton of work done in these two weeks because what else am I gonna do? I'm gonna be home all the time. <laughs> so yeah, I'll probably have some schoolwork, but hopefully not a lot. Anyway, let's get painting. I think Mr. Phoenix is ready for his painted hair. He's so cute. I feel like the lighting is not doing very well. He's so cute. I like his little face, he's so sweet. And then I think Alexis is close. I don't know. I think she could be ready for hair. I tried to get her little details and she has like a scratch. Her head is really hot because it just came out of the oven. Um, but yeah, I gave her some like little details with hopes that I would give her some hair. But um, I think she's ready. I think they're both ready for hair. Her lips are so pretty. <laughs> I can't remember if these are the eyes I picked for Phoenix, but I can't find the other ones, or like, these fit, so I must have picked them for him. I don't know, they're really cute. They're like mostly greenish with like a blue rim. They're very pretty. It's, it's hard to tell in the lighting, but I'm trying to figure out what color hair will look really cute on him. Honestly, a little red head because he has green eyes. That'd be cute. I think I might do that. I was thinking dark hair originally, but I, I don't know. Oh, he could be a little Irish baby. It's almost St. Patrick's Day. Green hair, or er, <laughs> green hair, green eyes, red hair. I think that'd be really cute. I don't know. He's pale like a little Irish baby. Oh my gosh, there's paint on my hand. Like a little Irish baby too. I think that would be really sweet. But I don't know, at the same time, I want to give him like dark brown hair. Oh, he's so sweet. I don't think I showed, but I did do Phoenix's hair orangey. Um, I was going for a darker color, but it turned out orange, so I just kind of went with it because like I said, I was considering orange anyway, and it looks really cute. And then I just did um, Alexis's base of hair, and hers turned out orange too. Like, I used this dark brown color, and it's turning out orangey, but I'm not like mad at it. I don't know. It's cute, but I might try and darken it up, but I just did a base layer of hair, and I think it looks really cute. I like the style of it a lot. It's like wavy and it's cute and I like how the hairline looks. It's shiny right now because it's wet. But um, I think it's really cute so I'm gonna bake that later. I'm just nervous for baking her hair because her head does not sit up. Like it, I don't know why it's like too heavy in the back so it falls over. So when I've been baking her, I've been baking her with this side down but I don't wanna ruin the back of her pretty hair. So I'm gonna try and figure out if I can make her head stay up like on her face or like forehead like that. I hope so, because I don't really want to ruin her pretty hair, but yeah, we'll see. I hope it works out. Okay, I was going to end this um, little week in my painting studio yesterday, but I just wanted to show you guys, because Phoenix is about to be done. I gave him lashes, and okay, it's not going to focus, but they're kind of long, and they are reddish, and I also drew on lashes, so they look more full, and I'm setting a magnet right now, so that's why that's there. And he just looks really cute overall. And Alexis is not as far along, but um, there's his body hanging out in my stuffing. And he's like ready to be put together. And look at how like, cute he is. I feel like British people would call him cheeky. You know what I mean? They'd be like, oh, he's so cheeky. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so and I have his little um, like birth certificate. These are the things that I make for my babies. I put like the date they were born, the time, the kit, how much they weigh, and like how long they are. And these are just like random babies that I've made um, but that's just what I make for my dolls and obviously I don't know when he's gonna be born yet he might not be born today so that's why I didn't write the date yet and then obviously I don't know how much he weighs so I only have his kit name and how long he is because that's the only stuff that I know so far but yeah he's about ready to be put together he just needs to like I need to figure out if I want his eyes to sit like this I think they look pretty cute they kind of move around because if he had I like half round glass eyes and he probably needed full round for the way his eye sockets are but I didn't know that so I always just resort to half round because that's what I like the best so whatever I think they'll be fine I like his little lashes they turned out so much better than I thought his vinyl is really hard so it was really hard to root the lashes but adding the painted ones too definitely adds to it and I'm really mad that it won't focus for you guys because it's really cute let me see just focus. I don't know. Anyway, he's really cute and he's almost done. 
Another quick update, we have Alexis's body now all put together, so cute. We're almost out of glass beads, there's like none left in there, so I'm gonna have to order more. Um, usually I get them from Harbor Freight and it's cheaper, but I think I'm just gonna order some from eBay because I don't really think I should go outside to get glass beads, but yeah. So we have Alexis's head here, I just put in her lashes and I'm doing some gloss. I need to give her a magnet, except I might not because her mouth opens pretty deep. Like if I put a magnet there, it wouldn't be strong enough for a pacifier and she could take a cut one. I mean, I could put a, pass uh, a magnet in her chin, but I don't know. I don't think I'm going to do it because her mouth is open pretty wide and take she would take a cut pacifier. And also look at these. There are two marks on her neck from when I was painting her hair. I didn't realize until after I had baked it that I got some of the paint on her neck. And this spot I tried to remove and it ended up removing more of the actual like skin paint than her like the black paint so I just stopped doing it. But her hair turned out pretty cute. It's not my favorite but like it's not awful. It's thick so she's got like thick hair and it's also like two colors because like I said um, it was like orangey and then I added a darker color on top. I did two layers of a darker color so she has a lot thicker hair but she's bigger. I don't know, I like her little eyebrows. And then her lashes need to be trimmed also, that's also why they look really long. I love her face though, she's really cute. But yeah, I'm about to cut her lashes. I don't think I'm doing a magnet, I think I'm just gonna go no magnet. And so then I'm just gonna put her head on and she'll be done. I also finished Alexis, I forgot to show you guys. But yeah, that's gonna conclude this video of like a week in my Reborn studio, like paint with me kind of thing. I know I didn't show any painting, but like it's basically like what a week in my studio looks like. When I started making this video, we were still in school. Like I did not know the coronavirus was gonna like really come in here and change the course of like the next three weeks of my life. Um, so I don't know, it's just kind of weird because I guess I've been living it through painting. Um, that's basically all I'm gonna do for the next three weeks while I'm out of school because I have so much time and I need this time. This is like my prime time to make babies for Rose. So yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. It's kind of different. It was more of just like a little vlog type thing. I don't know how you guys will feel about this kind of video. It's also really long, so I'm sorry if you don't like that. Or maybe it's good because no one has anything to do, so you need a long video like this to hang out with. Anyway. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe if you like my content um, and like this video so I know you guys enjoyed it. Um, I hope everyone enjoyed it. I don't know. I don't know how boring this is gonna be. But yeah, and make sure to follow my Instagrams at KellyMapoolYT and at Little Mouse Nursery so you can see all the babies I've been making. Yeah, the whole like, premise of this video. All right, and I will see you guys later. Bye! <laughs>